Hello everyone, welcome back to Fanblade. It is day two of the lockdown, and it is bitterly, bitterly cold. Um, I don't want to spend too much time in the garage. I want to get back into the studio and actually play some of these drums. What I'm going to try and do today is fix up this one, I think. Uh, this one's in dire need of, a, of some attention. I'm, the, the hoop is twisted and pushed in. I believe the shell is sound though, but... I'll take it apart and test it. Uh, it's missing a lug mount there, and uh, I'm not too sure else. You know, like the, the snare release is bent. The snare is held on with shoelace. Um, but there's enough spare parts here that we can make this one good. This is the original drum that came with the drum kit. This is the original uh, 1960s snare drum. It's only got six lugs, so I never sort of really felt comfortable sort of using it because it doesn't hold its tuning as well as some of these. I like a nice tight crack on my um, snare drum. Not a euphemism. Uh, I want to try this one out though and see if I can actually get a decent sound out of it. Uh, it's got a hole in the bottom skin. So, uh, we'll see what we can do about that, but hopefully we should be able to get a lot of good things. Basically, I'm just going to play Industrial Lego, and then it's so cold in here, I'm going to go and spend the rest of the day in the studio, I think. Right. Okay, so we're already missing one lug mount, and uh, as soon as I took uh, the tension off this one, it came off too. There's some nuts floating around inside the uh, inside the drum, and it would appear that these are actually broken off. They look bent, and there's broken metal on the inside of there, so that's what's happened to the other one as well, is that it's broken off entirely. Um, uh, also, the tension rods are the longest that I've ever had on a snare. I don't know if I have any more that are that long. Uh, we'll see what we can we'll see what we can fabricate, we'll see what we can find, and we'll see what we can do. Okay, so I've got it stripped. Um, it's not looking too bad, actually. It, to my eye, that is looking like it's still perfectly round. Uh, the real question is, because it was pushed in on one side, uh, is it going? Is it perfectly flat? And there's wobble on here, but this is a towel. Uh, what we need is a surface plate. Luckily, I've got one, just over there.
Yeah, that's a giant kink in the shell. I think we'll cut our losses on this one and move on to another drum. Okay, so now the plan is to do a three-way switch them up. Uh, the head and hoops off this drum are going on here. The heads off this drum are going on here with the snare wire from this one. And then we'll take the snare wire from the tama and put it on there. And that should hopefully give us two very good drums and this one which I've been struggling for years to get it to sound good. I've never been able to do it. I'm writing it off. Because then I'll have these. I hope. We'll see. I have just discovered some very interesting things. If you watched uh, yesterday's video, you will have seen when I repaired a Mapex snare. Uh, this is this is also a Mapex snare, but the bearing edge was a they call it a double 45. It's 45 degrees down there, but it also had a slight one coming up there to a very very sharp point about three mil in from the outer diameter of the of the shell. This one. Uh, is a single 45 going down there uh, all the way to the outside but what's interesting is that it's not even it's quite rounded over in these spots and it's quite sharp there now uh, this may be because of uh, where the snare uh, uh, would go over from the strainer there we're looking at the bottom of the drum here so the snare would be resting on those areas and they are both sharper I don't know if they've done that on purpose. Possibly they do. If anything, I would have thought they would have made that off-rounder. Some people even go so far as to actually cut little bits out. Uh, snare relief or strain relief or something they call it. I don't know. And I don't particularly care. What is interesting is, though, is the metal shells. This is the old pearl shell. This whole thing is just... It's just a circle. They've just folded it over. Whereas the Tama one is actually very sharp, it comes to a much finer point. Um, also worth noting, there is strain relief, snare relief, whatever it is here, you can actually see where they've hammered these parts down. Now, uh, I tested it on the surface plate and it's, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a couple of mil, there's a couple of mil of, of strain relief there. Um, the top side of this uh, drum also had quite a lot of wobble on it, so this shell's just as naked as this one. This one, um, as much as I love it and as much as I want it to work, I'm not going to get the sound that I want out of it because that bearing edge is just too round. So, now I'm faced with the prospect of do I round the rest of that out or do I sharpen the rest of this area or maybe I should just put it together and see how it sounds first. That's probably the best way.
So these two are just not sounding any good. No matter what skin I put on this one, I can't get it to sound not strange. There's something going on with these two. I don't know what it is. I think they've just they've shared so much hardware in common over the years as I've been trying to figure this out. What I'm doing now is uh, the wild card. This one here, which I've never actually used. I've never actually even hit it. Um, it's exactly as it was the day that I bought the drum kit, uh, including the hole in the skin. Um, I'm just going to put some duct tape on there, put a snare on it, and see how it goes. Well, uh, it's a little bit late at night to go uh, to go doing any any playing on this, but that's just amazing. It's the the little snare that could. Cool. All right. Um. Well, stay tuned. Uh, there's going to be plenty more videos coming up. Um, I'm going to do some recording with this one, but there's uh, as I said in the last video, I've got plenty of guitars and things that I want to make. So. Hit subscribe, thanks for watching, see you tomorrow.